The attack is the second deadliest school shooting in our nation's history. Now we're learning more about how it all unfolded and what happened before the shooter reached the school. Amy Robach starts us off live from outside Robb Elementary with the latest. Amy. Hey, Diane, good morning to you. And it, it is a difficult morning to say the very least. I think all of us standing here on another scene of a mass school shooting literally feel sick to our stomachs. This town, Uvalde, is a small city, as you said, west of San Antonio. It's a close-knit community. There are just about 16,000 people here. And the children at Robb Elementary School yesterday started their day just like millions of other children all over this country. They were excited. It was the last week of school. They were about to start summer vacation. But by 11.30 in the morning, their lives were forever changed. The devastating new details after a gunman opened fire here at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Need to respond to South Grove and Mill Street to establish a perimeter. 19 students and two teachers killed. My heart was broken today. We're a small community and we will need your prayers to get us through this. Before entering the school, gunman 18-year-old Salvador Ramos, a student at Uvalde High School, shot his grandmother at her residence. She is now in critical condition. Gunshots. We were the first ones to hear the gunshot. We're right, we're right behind your house. Shortly after, the suspect crashed his car outside of the school premises where he engaged with law enforcement. Then, at 11.32 a.m. Central Time, the suspect, wearing body armor, abandoned his vehicle and entered the school, where second, third, and fourth graders were in the middle of the school day. The gunman opening fire as soon as he stepped on school grounds. Students reportedly scrambling out of windows to escape. We just hear all kinds of gunshots going off like nonstop, like constantly gunshots. And the world here all scared on the ground, fearing for our lives. Fourth grader Jordan Legis telling ABC News about the moments when the gunman began firing shots at his classroom. When he sees the students and our teacher, that's when he starts shooting at the window and the wall right there. So he starts shooting it all up. All kinds of smoke is like in the room as we're in there. Authorities confirming the suspect was armed with an AR-15 style rifle. Sources telling ABC News all the victims at the school died in the same location inside the school. Officers arrive on the scene and begin exchanging gunfire with the shooter, while some parents rush toward the scene in desperation. Hey, it's okay. We're right here. Go inside, go inside. Two officers injured, but sustaining non-life-threatening injuries. The gunman fatally shot by police. A community now grieving as families mourn the lives of those lost. And in an address to the nation, President Biden offering any and all assistance. I had hoped when I became president I would not have to do this again. Another massacre. How many scores of little children who witnessed what happened see their friends die as if they're on a battlefield, for God's sake? They'll live with it the rest of their lives. Now, after the shooting, as you would imagine, there was so much chaos, there was so much fear, but officials were able to move some of the relatives and friends who had gathered there to the town's convention center where, and this is really even hard to, to imagine what this was like, officials were taking DNA samples from those family members to try and help them identify the bodies in that school. Uh, just horrific, Diane. I, th there are no words. There aren't, Amy. It's unimaginable. I, so much heartbreak there. Hard to even, like I say, imagine it. So what's next for the parents there who are grieving right now? Yeah. I mean, some family members got to that convention center at 3 p.m. and didn't find out the fate of their child until midnight. So there's a lot to process for these families. I'm sure they're waking up this morning horrified, hoping it was a bad dream, and then unfortunately having to plan funerals for 19 elementary school children. It is just horrific, and uh, our hearts go out to those parents. Any one of us who are parents, it's your worst nightmare. So this is a close-knit community. They will be leaning on each other for support, but uh, their lives will never be the same. And this tragedy, uh, many hope will create change, but many people are doubtful that that, in fact, will happen. Diane? All right, Amy Robach for us in Uvalde, Texas. Amy, thank you.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.